Fresno, California. Its diverse cultures shape how people live their lives. A big part of culture comes from the language and the stories we share to connect with one another. Theater has been a big way of storytelling for centuries and has been utilized to express ideas and imagination, forever providing entertainment and escape. Throughout the Central Valley, most high schools perform at least two shows a year, and local theater companies have productions year-round. There are a number of organizations striving to bring people together, sharing stories and art to make an imprint on people's lives. Theater is the only place where a community can come together and create a project that's tangible. Technology has played a major role in how we consume information. Recent studies have revealed an average person looks at a screen for more than seven hours a day, which greatly affects one attention span. Though theater is not completely being eradicated, its true appreciation has definitely gone down because of this. Theater requires people to be patient. And patience is not around anywhere. But local theater is worth attending. Its values go beyond enjoying just a simple story and then going home. It's a unique way to intersect with the audience, one that is able to touch multiple senses at once and requires a new way of thinking to comprehend. This higher level of thinking allows audiences to consider ideas that they wouldn't normally be able to. Due to the medium, it's easier for revolutionary thoughts to slip in, initiating discussion and critical thinking about life. So you can come in here into this space and sit here and explore those taboo topics. Luckily, theater is easier to access than you would think. While searching for sources for this documentary, we found plenty of available local theater all around Clovis and Fresno. High school productions count as local theater too, often with just as high quality performances as expected from professionals. Colleges too always have performances, and Good Company Players recently had its 50th anniversary. These performances are being promoted on social media and spread by hanging posters in classrooms and making merch. It's a word of mouth thing. People tend to go where they hear someone else has enjoyed it. In all aspects, theater can create long lasting connections among people and allows them to find life in stories where reality fails them. With increased promotion of local productions, it's clear more and more people are attending shows. Along with this, the funding that these companies receive allows them to create larger production. And in today's world, theater is open to absolutely everyone, and that accessibility brings in people who wouldn't initially have interest. You develop these connections throughout shows because you're all here to do one thing, and it's so rewarding to have that experience with those people, and it's a connection that you'll never lose. Across the Central Valley, there is no shortage in the amount of stories told on stage. And it isn't just one organization that is bringing people together, it's all of them. And there's no better time than right now to check out this art form. Just this week, you have the chance to see any one of these shows. From the sound of music at Children's Musical Theater, to songs for a new world at Clovis North. Along with this, Good Company Players is hosting auditions next month for Fiddler on the Roof and Sugar, the Some Like It Hot musical. Not interested in being on stage? They always need a crew. So spend time with the people you love and go see local theater. Getting to work with all of those different people has really opened my eyes to what works, what doesn't work, and ultimately what's the same, what's the common thread throughout what makes good theater. And I think there's this unspoken language again, this way that we communicate with each other that we can all be on the same page while being in completely different parts of the Central Valley, which I find just really interesting.